Nigeria have snatched a 2-0 victory over Iceland courtesy of a wonderful brace by Ahmed Musa. Victor Moses delivered the ball into Musa, who took a delightful touch then rifled the ball home in the 49th minute. It was a huge blow for Iceland, who had enjoyed the better first half, but no reward on the scoreboard. Then, in the 75th minute, Musa struck again. Group stage off the back of a quick counter-attack, Musa received the ball, cut inside the 18-yard box, rounded goalkeeper Hans Haldorsen and slammed home his second goal. Iceland had a chance to hit back through a penalty in the 83rd minute, awarded after a VAR review. Nigeria v Iceland match center, stats but Jilfi Sigurdsson blasted his spot kick over the bar. It was Iceland's last real chance of the game. Ahmed Musa of Nigeria celebrates. Photo by Kevin C. Cox Getty Images, source, Getty Images Iceland and Nigeria were locked at 0-0 at halftime of their Group D clash. It was a relatively cagey first half, with Iceland having the better of the chances, peppering the Nigeria goal late in the piece. Yet neither team could find a decisive touch up front. Coach Jernet Rohr's Super Eagles, who brought the youngest squad to Russia, with an average age of around 25 years of age, have now won just one of their past 13 games at World Cups. Nigeria reached the knockout phase at the 2014 World Cup, but slipped to a 2-0 defeat in their Group D opener against Croatia in Kaliningrad, courtesy of an Aganekaro Atibo own goal and a Luka Modric penalty. Starting this Nigeria Francis Yazoho, Brian Adowu, Wilfred Ndidi, William Ekong, Leon Bailogun, Ahmed Musa, Aganekaro Atibo, John Obi Mikkel, Capt, Victor Moses, Kalechi Iannacho, Kenneth Amaruo Iceland Hans Hal Dorsen, Berker Sivarsson, Ragnar Sigurdsson, Berker Bjarnason, Jilfi Sigurdsson, Alfred van Bogason, Kari Arnason, Aaron Gunnarsson, Kapt, Horter Magnusson, Rurik Gislason, John Vidvarsson Lisson, Soxaru's situation in Group C, Cahill, Ann Arzani The Splash Podcast. Follow all the World Cup action live in our blog below. If you can't see the blog, click here.